Oriente, Ecuador, the rainforest whispered its oldest secret. An international team of archaeologists, led by Stephen Rostain, scanned the Upano Valley in eastern Ecuador, and the forest answered in light. Using LIDAR, a laser technology that pierces through vegetation vegetation, they revealed what had been hidden for millennia. A vast network of ancient cities with plazas, causeways, terraces, and pyramidal mounds stretching across 300 square kilometers of jungle. Beneath the canopy, a civilization had been sleeping for 2,500 years older than the Roman Republic, contemporary with the first cities of Mesoamerica. A cityscape carved not in stone but in soil and memory. The laser beams drew outlines where human eyes could not mapping the ghosts of streets, the symmetry of plazas, and the geometry of mines that once shaped the Amazon. For centuries, the Amazon was described as a green void, a wilderness too harsh for cities, too infertile for agriculture. Its people were seen as wandering tribes, moving through a landscape that refused permanence. But the light said otherwise. The LIDAR maps revealed gridded urban systems, irrigation canals, and connecting highways stretching for kilometers. The forest had hidden not a jungle of trees, but a jungle of architecture. This discovery challenges the deepest assumption in South American archaeology that the Amazon was untouched, unplanned, and uncivilized. It wasn't untouched. It was overgrown dot. It wasn't unplanned. It was forgotten. The people of the Upano Valley engineered a sustainable urban world, one that thrived within the rainforest rather than against it. And for a brief moment in time, the myth of the empty Amazon dissolved in laser light. The LiDAR data revealed more than just shapes. It revealed intention dot straight roads connected mounds to plazas in perfect alignment, some pointing directly to the rising sun during the solstice. Each settlement was organized with social precision. Residential clusters, communal gathering spaces, and raised platforms for rituals or governance. Some sites spanned more than 50 hectares, linked by ancient causeways wide enough to support traffic not of cars but of people, animals, and trade. And scattered across the map were hundreds of earthwork pyramids built from packed soil enduring through 25 centuries of rain. This was not a lost tribe. This was an urban civilization, functioning through design, agriculture, and spiritual geometry dot. And yet, until the lasers arrived, it was invisible. Upano is not alone. Across Latin America, lasers are uncovering the invisible architecture of forgotten worlds. In Bolivia, LIDAR scans in 2022 revealed the Cazarabe culture, a complex network of ancient towns hidden in seasonally flooded forests. In Guatemala, entire Maya megacities were found beneath the jungle, their highways and reservoirs forming a continental scale civilization. For centuries, these regions were dismissed as peripheral and capable of urban sophistication. Now, each beam of light reweaves the tapestry of history, connecting dots that were never meant to stay apart. The Amazon, it seems, was once part of a larger tropical urban continuum civilizations that built in harmony with the environment and in silence with time. But not everyone accepts this rewriting of the past. Many archaeologists raised on the old model of tribes and trees question whether these were truly cities. They argue the soil is too poor, the rainfall too heavy, the insects too many. They say it was impossible to sustain dense populations here. To them, the Upano structures were perhaps ceremonial camps, temporary settlements, or ritual landscapes, not true urban systems. But the data doesn't agree. Thousands of platforms, roadways, and engineered terraces span an area too vast, too organized, to be dismissed as ritual. It's not belief that changes history, it's measurement. And the measurements are clear. Still, silence hangs in the academic air. The idea that the Amazon was once urban challenges entire frameworks of colonization, anthropology, and ecological theory. If these cities existed, then the primitive wilderness narrative collapses dot and with it centuries of Western projection. For 25 years, Stephen Rostain had been walking through the Upano Valley machete in hand, notebook in his pack. He mapped mounds, shards, and patterns always sensing something larger, something systemic beneath the forest floor. But his colleagues called the idea romantic, impossible. 
Then came the lasers. When the first LiDAR scans rendered the valley in digital relief, the pattern appeared instantly roads crossing in right angles, settlements aligned like constellations. It's like finding a lost world, Rostain said quietly, but it never really disappeared. We just stopped looking. He wasn't smiling when he said it. He was mourning not what was lost, but what was ignored. The question remains, why would anyone build cities in one of the planet's most unforgiving ecosystems? The answer, perhaps, is balance. Archaeologists found signs of agroforestry, fish ponds and terraced gardens, technologies and terraced gardens, technologies, technologies that worked with the rainforest's cycles rather than erasing them. Unlike later civilizations that fought nature, the Upano culture seems to have listened to it. Their cities weren't monuments to domination. They were calibrations of coexistence. Even the layout open plazas surrounded by cultivated forest suggests a social model where ecology and architecture merged into one language. And when the environment shifted, when rains grew harsher, when rivers changed course, they didn't collapse in war. They disappeared, leaving only design behind. Perhaps survival for them meant dissolving rather than resisting. Then there's the symmetry. Many of the Upano sites align with astronomical markers, solstices, equinoxes, cardinal points. Dot. Many of the Upano sites align with astronomical markers, solstices, equinoxes, cardinal points. This was not random. Dot. It suggests that the people of the Amazon, like the Maya, the Inca, and builders across the ancient world, designed their environment to mirror the sky. Cities as mirrors of constellations, earthworks as diagrams of time. If this was intentional, then Upano's engineers saw the land as a living map, a surface through which cosmic order could be drawn and inhabited. Perhaps their cities were not only functional spaces, but instruments of resonance, places built to keep harmony between the forest, the stars, and the human pulse. When you see the LiDAR image, the delicate geometry glowing beneath the canopy, it feels less like ruins and more like circuitry. As if the rainforest itself was a kind of living machine. The Upano Valley joins a quiet brotherhood of rediscovered worlds. In Cambodia, the forests of Angkor once concealed a hydraulic megacity, its canals and reservoirs beating like a heart beneath the trees. In Africa, the ruins of Great Zimbabwe speak of a civilization that built with stone and astronomy, then vanished into the hills. Across continents, the same pattern hums. Civilizations rise not only in deserts and plains, but in jungles they emerge, adapt, and disappear when balance turns to burden. Perhaps the story of humanity is not one of progress, but of rhythm. Civilization is not a straight line, it's a breath. Upano is one inhale among many. We are living in another. When the first LiDAR images appeared on Rostain's screen, he said it felt like the forest was talking back. For a moment, the Amazon long portrayed as mute and chaotic spoke with mathematical clarity. But soon, the old silence returned. Dot. The news headlines faded. The funding moved elsewhere. The academic debates circled endlessly. And yet the cities remain quiet grids beneath the soil patient and intact, dot waiting not for explorers, but for listeners. In every generation, humanity rediscovers what it once forgot that complexity is not conquest and intelligence is not noise. Sometimes the greatest civilizations are the ones that leave no scars, dot. If these cities thrived and vanished, what does that say about us? We build towers of glass, connect continents with light, and measure progress by visibility. But the Upano people built to disappear to return their cities to soil without ruin or fire. Their civilization was not erased. It completed its cycle. The lasers didn't uncover a lost world. They revealed a continuity the idea that civilization can be temporary, harmonious, and still magnificent. Perhaps the Amazon was never a wilderness at all, Dot. Perhaps it was always remembering through roots, rivers, and silence. 2,500 years ago, in the heart of the forest, someone drew a straight line through the trees. A road leading to a plaza, leading to the stars. Then the forest closed its eyes again and waited. In 2024, lasers reopened them, and for an instant the earth remembered itself. 
because sometimes the truth doesn't need to be built again, dot. It only needs to be seen in light.